What's up guys, this is TechPocket and today I'm going to show you how to recover files, deleted files from your Windows computer. So let's get started. The product we're going to use today is called Stellar Phonics Windows Data Recovery and this is a very powerful product because it recovers deleted files that you have deleted. As you remember, I have done another video uh, with Stellaphonix Mac Data Recovery, but this is for Windows. Um, on the Mac version, there is no free trial, so you have to immediately, immediately buy the software, but for Windows, there is one gigabyte trial version for it. And that's really cool because you can try it, and then if you like it, you have the option to buy it. So this is the main website for Stellar Data Recovery, and go here and click on free download because this is the software. And once you click on download, wait until it's download, and then install it. After that, go ahead and launch it. Yes. Okay, so this will, this is going to be the first page you're going to see. So for this purpose of this video, I'm going to use my USB due to its small size. Because it takes time to scan every file from, um, from a hard drive. So I'm going to this PC and I'm gonna delete one file from my uh, from my USB so this is the file that I'm going to delete and again it's a PNG file so that means it's uh, for it's an image type of data we need this also so click on delete and now the files is deleted per permanently okay so after that uh, to save time, I'm going to deselect all of the type of files. We're going to select photos files. So remember what I said previously, it, it was a PNG type of file. So this is the type of file you need to select. Click on next. And then click on the hard disk that you would like to scan. In your case, it might be local disk. You might have accidentally deleted a file from local disk or was on another disk. Or in my case, was the Win install. I'm going to click on scan, this will take a while, so if you are free to take a coffee and come back later once it's finished. Okay, the scan has been completed, it took just more than one minute to do, it was very quick. Okay, so let's have a look on how this, how, what everything means on this screen, on this window. So, so tree view, it has all the folders on your, uh, hard, your hard disk, uh, file type, it just... Uh, shows you the file, type, the file types that, that it has scanned. In this case, it was only photos because this is what we selected previously. And deleted list, this is what we want. This is, what we, this is where we need to go ahead and find the deleted file that we just deleted. So here it shows all of the deleted files that are found from your, your, from your hard drive. Because we have selected deleted list, it only displays deleted files from your hard drive. So um, if you click on each of these files, it's, it previews what the file looks like. So this might help you to, to identify what the file look looked like. In my case, this is the file that I have recently deleted because as you can see here, it says main menu, message, evidence, test. I'm going to expand the window a little bit here. And so this is the file that we, that we have deleted. So you are free to select this box. It says how many, what's the size of the file is. Click on save, and as I mentioned, you have only one gigabyte free for this um, for this software. So click OK. Uh, select destination. So make sure that the destination to save the file is different. Like the the, the hard drive that you're gonna that you're gonna save the file in is going to be different than the hard drive that you have just scanned. So for example, if I save my file on my USB disk, it will rewrite all of the files on my USB disk. I don't know why this happens, but it does happen. So I'm going to save it on my desktop. Then I'm going to click on select folder, and then I'm going to click on start saving. There you go, so it, it created a root folder, and here the image exists. And this is the image that we have deleted and recovered. Okay, so this is how the software works. So that was how the software works. But what happens if you want to buy it? So I'm going to show you how you can buy this software. So you can click on this file again, click on save, upgrade now. Uh, don't have the registration key. 
Next, it takes you to a page where you have to select one of these um, deals. Um, bear in mind that the more expensive one has more features, so if you are more interested on more features, then you, you are free to, to buy this. Uh, let's select this for this uh, video, and this includes all of these packs. Then, you go down, oh, and also, if you have a coupon, you can enter it here. And here you need to enter your information, so this is a very simple process. Make sure to enter your real email because this is where um, this is where your activation code will be sent to. And here you can type your real name, your real name. So, for example, uh, which country you live, you live, your credit card number, um, exp uh, expiration date, so wh when your uh, credit card expires. Uh, your card security code, uh, view more input fields, so where you live, some of the uh, some of the details here. Next, you make sure to click on customer information, consumer information. I cannot spell terms and conditions, and then you're free to buy it now. If you don't know what these are, click on these links. Okay, so this is how how you buy it. Next, wait for a while, and then the activation code will be sent to your email. And once you have it, you, you, you can go here and type it in. Okay, so I have typed my registration key, so I'm going to click on the register. The activation has been success. And if it didn't work, you are, you are free to email back to the company and tell them to send you another code if, if the code that ju they just sent you don't work. So that was the review for the day, guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you're a new visitor to this channel, you are free to subscribe to not miss any new video that I upload. Thank you again. I'm going to see you in my next video.